Africa was hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. And as a result of the pandemic, you are very much aware that the Africa economic GDP growth rate reduced by negative 1.6%. Uh, and um, we lost uh, millions of jobs, over 29 million uh, jobs lost, and 30 million Africans subjected to abject poverty. And we are all very much aware of that. And just when we were recovering our, and our economy was rebounding uh, to 6.9% and the Ukraine-Russia war, you know, came to place. And now we are very much aware that because of this, we are, we are now having high uh, energy uh, prices and the fertilizers, fertilizer prices are now going to increase by over 300% uh, percent now. And of course, a looming uh, food crisis in, in Africa, which is now a concern right now. Africa is not going to enjoy cheap food prices anymore. So this is a concern in Africa. And as Africans, what are we doing? What are our priorities when we are borrowing these loans? Uh, for high uh, development activities. Are we considering agriculture, which is uh, going to be a serious crisis in Africa right now? Uh, moving forward, we have a bank that supports uh, Africa development, uh, the high fives of the Africa Development Bank, as you are all aware, Integration of Africa, Feed Africa, Industrialize Africa, and of course the bank is up to uh, restore the dignity of the African people. So I think it's very important for us to increase shares at the AFDB and uh, where we have a voice and as Africans can sit. So it's just important and key that as Africans we, we invest in our bank where we can sit and make collective decisions as Africa if we are to move forward for the unity of Africa. Realize that most of the African uh, sovereign countries do not have any debt um, negotiation policy. Uh, you know, it is very important going forward from this forum for us to come up with a debt negotiation policy that is going to entail what uh, the terms and conditions will be for Africans before engaging in any debt. And I think going forward, as Africans, we need to be innovative on how we finance these debts. And as I was telling you before, that in Kenya now we are very innovative and we have an M Akiba. Um, bond that is a digital bond where you can just um, you know it's majorly for low income earners so you can just access it at the comfort of your mobile and so far Kenya has earned over 1 billion uh, Kenya shillings from the from the Emma Kiba bond Policies and practices that put people first.